What's going down everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about some markers that I use. We're going to, I'm going to call it advanced techniques, but mostly it's going to be markers. It's going to be the adhesive that I use to do gold leaf on cards or gilding. And then I'm going to compare that a little bit to gold paint or gold markers. Before we get to it, big thanks to all the patrons who make this channel possible. Big thanks to all of my clientele who get me to paint cards for you. Couldn't do it without you guys, seriously. I'm going to put the camera up here on my tripod and we're going to pan down onto my workspace and then, then we're going to come back to this. Okay, here we are. It's not perfect, but you can see everything. And I'd like to start with the Stedler Lumicolor marker. I know I talked about this in the last tutorial. Can't say enough good things about this marker. Link to where you can find this for base coating or making cards black in the show notes. Great marker. You don't need it. It's pretty expensive or it can be, but great marker. So the first real marker that I want to talk about is a Pigma Micron, all of these really, but this is a 08. I've got a 01, a 005, and this one's kind of got like a, a painting tip, but what these do is just make super fine lines. That's what they do, that's what they're for. The eight is of course the biggest, and the, the 05 of course is the smallest. And you're probably not gonna be able to tell on the camera, but this one is very small, and you do have to be careful with them a little bit. The 01s and the 005s do wear down. They they get a little bit beat up. If you're using like a, a flat or a satin paint, the, the rough texture of the paint does wear down these, these markers a little bit. And they are between four and six bucks, depending on where you get them. And you can get like five packs of the 005s. You can get variety packs that go from 05 or 005 all the way up to to 08 or 1 or 2 you can get all of those and they are a little bit cheaper when you buy the five packs or the 10 packs or whatever but if you're not doing this full time do you need them no but here they are the reason i like these is because once they're dry they're dry and you can cheat a little bit with them like i've shown people in the past when you marker them on just like when you paint stuff on you can actually hold them up to a, a warm light and the light will actually dry the ink that is in the marker a little bit quicker. And as soon as that's dry, they are dry. And if you put some wet paint over them, they can smudge because you're reintroducing water to the ink. But by and large, once these are used and dry, they, they're, they're dry. And these are the best ones that I've found so far. If you're an altruist though, and, and you use a different kind of marker, let me know in the comments below because I'm always into learning new stuff, using new stuff, and of course, becoming better at the craft. Speaking of which, this is my newest thing that I've that I've learned and used. I ordered some paint online and I didn't meet like a dollar amount minimum to get free shipping. So I added a few bucks with this Deco Color Premium Prime Premio paint marker. Now this is an oil-based paint marker. So once it's on a card, like it's on the card, it's never coming off. It's got a little shaky ball in it and you had to prime it like all paint markers. And I haven't had any exploding with it. And it makes a very nice gold, like a very, very, not metallic-y, but very liquid metal-y looking gold. Very nice color. Again, I'm not sure you can see it on the camera and I'm not really demonstrating anything today, but that's it and it's, it's very, it's a good marker. If you wanna do gold, it's great. Now, I do have gold and silver paint. I, I use these probably more than anything. I use these more than I use the marker. I use these and the marker more than I use gold leaf. And when I do use gold, this is this is a iridescent gold fine by Golden Fluid Acrylics. And that is primarily the paint that I use. For anybody who hasn't watched the first few tutorials, I do use Golden Fluids. This is a fine ground paint. And you can get your metallic paints in different grinds, like a coarse grind, like a metal flake, like you would see like on a muscle car or an old speedboat. You get that really flaky metallic paint that needs like 87 layers of clear coat so you, so it's not rough that isn't this this is a fine grind the next one up this is my silver it, and it's still a fine grind but it's not quite as fine and because it's silvery and not quite as fine 
I do mix these together and they stay gold. And I've found that that is the, my very favorite version of gold paint is when I mix silver and gold. It lightens up the gold a little bit. The bigger flake in this makes it a little bit sh more shiny. It catches a little bit more light. Looks a little bit more like my paint marker or like true gold leaf. So if you use a lot of gold or if you want to experiment, I would recommend I would recommend mixing your gold and your silver for, for great effect. I, I think that, that, that if you're using gold, everybody should be doing that. The final thing is the gold leaf, the gilding. And I, like, it's super messy. I use, I use sheets of gold. I don't buy the powder stuff. And it comes in sheets and, and you can see it just gets everywhere and it's messy. And I'm not very good at using it. Maybe that's why I'm so messy, but you can see it's super fine. It's so fine that when I open this, it rips. But there it is. And the edges fray and it gets everywhere and it gets like in your fingernails and it gets on your face. And it's just, it's a, it's a hard product to use and it's a hard product to get good at. But what I do or, or how I do it is I got an old crappy brush and or uh, like just like a Q-tip or something that I keep handy and you can, you just, Paint on the adhesive. This is essentially just liquid glue. You paint it on, it paints on white, and when it's clear and tacky is when you can apply the gold. And I do it with the end of a toothpick and I just pick some up and put it on. Or if I have like a large area like behind the head of a character and, and it's like supposed to be like a gold halo, like a religious piece, I'll take a whole big piece of gold leaf and plop it down on my circle, my area that is to be the halo. And then you just smooth it down with the, with the, with a dry brush like this. And then as the glue solidifies and dries, you can kind of paint off the stuff that isn't supposed to stick there. And the glued down stuff does stick there. I can do a whole tutorial. Again, if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. I can put a tutorial together. I can do a nice piece up with, with gold paint, with gold marker, and with the gold leaf and the adhesive. So if you want to see that, I can put that together and, and we can do that on the channel. And if it's going to help people and if people are going to find it uh, in, important and valuable, just let me know in the comments. Didn't mention, but I should mention Posca pens. These are great paint markers in a variety of colors and tips. If you're into doing cartoon alters, these are great. And I can do some kind of tutorial or, or, or a uses video on these if anybody wants. And then adhesive and gold leaf. If anybody wants that, get at me and we can put some of that together as well. Big thanks to all the Patreon supporters that make this channel possible. Couldn't do it without you guys. Links to the Patreon in the show notes below. I'll see you next time.